Hey you guys, welcome up back to my channel. So today we're going to be talking about Amber Portwood and her new book. Um, now a couple weeks ago, maybe a couple months ago, uh, everyone was talking about the fact that Amber Portwood had written a book where it was discussing her mental health and her struggles and all of that. Now I put out a video about it. Now I'm just going to be honest. I really did not think the book would be that great. I was like, we know all about Amber's struggles and not to minimize her struggles, but I was just like, yeah, we do know about it. We know that she suffered from addiction. I didn't think really that I'd be getting the book. I did ask, you know, if you guys want me to get the book, let me know. Really didn't have many people telling me to get the book. So I was like, eh, probably not. But now I'm thinking maybe I should reconsider and maybe have like a book night for maybe like the members. Members, if you're watching and you want me to have like a book night where we go over Amber Portwood's new book, please let me know. Because according to the Ashley Realities Roundup, there are some jaw-dropping uh, revelations in this book. A couple of them are about pregnancies that we had no idea about. So she had an abortion and also she had some pregnancies that resulted in miscarriage. Now, this is very devastating. I've suffered a miscarriage. It was probably one of the most devastating moments of my life. So I'm going to be super sympathetic to that. I can't imagine, you know, her recovering from that, along with being an addict and her mental health issues. But there's something that I do have to say about that. Um, and I'm going to come back to it in a little bit. So in her new book uh, that's titled So You're Crazy Too, Amber Portwood reveals that she had a secret abortion around the time that she was arrested for assaulting her ex, Gary Shirley. This was back in 2010. However, Amber's secret pregnancy and abortion, which she hid from the MTV crew, was even more shocking because the baby was not Gary's. So, we got to watch what went down when Amber was abusive to Gary when she went to jail for that. She was investigated by CPS and all of that. And her and Gary were very on and off at that time. And apparently, during one of the rapes, she got pregnant by someone. Uh, the baby was not Gary's. And not only that, this is not Amber's only secret pregnancy. So there was at least two situations that was filmed by MTV where Amber had gotten physical with Gary. Um, at that time, their daughter was only one year, one years old. Leah was one at the time that these assaults took place. In one incident, Amber choked Gary. Uh, she choked him and punched him. In another incident, she pushed him down a flight of stairs. And that was the incident that resulted in her being arrested back in November 2010. Now, in this book, Amber says that she got pregnant by a random heroin addict and had the abortion somewhere in between those two incidents. So the first incident of her choking and punching Gary, between that and the incident where she pushed him down the flight of stairs, she got pregnant by this random person who was an addict. In her book, she wrote, when my ex Gary and I had broken up for a while because of the fighting was so bad, I was hanging out with a heroin addict and I accidentally got pregnant. Amber also wrote that she knew she was not going to be able to take care of that child. Still, she says that she was reluctant to consider abortion. She said, not being able to handle something and having to terminate a life were worlds apart from me. Were worlds apart from me. I finally had an abortion. However, it was devastating to me. Again, I do not know why I made the decision I made during this time in my life. So, Amber at the time was dealing with an addiction herself. Um, from what we know, she was on a lot of pills at the time. Um, later on in her addiction, she was uh, taking things such as fentanyl and stuff, so it got really bad. Um, but during this time, she was filming the first few seasons of Teen Mom, and she states that her drug use did play a part in her decision to have an abortion. In her book, she wrote, I was on drugs. I didn't know what I was doing half the time. I had nightmares about abandoning my unborn child. I cried uncontrollably for weeks afterwards. I didn't sleep and I lost a ton of weight. Amber goes on to say that she later heard that the heroin addict who knocked her up passed away. She wrote, this news made me cry even though I had not seen or talked to him in years. I knew he was an addict and not long for this earth, but we conceived a child together. So I always felt the connection with him. Now, this was not the last of Amber's uh, unexpected pregnancies. She writes that she also got pregnant by a guy that she dated right after she was released from prison in December 2013. She said that, that pregnancy ended in a miscarriage. In the book, she wrote, When I miscarried after falling pregnant by a boy, I dated for a few months right after prison. It shook me. 
even though I had no business having a baby with anyone at that time in my life. She added that on the day of the miscarriage, she remembers trying to fish the thing out of her toilet for a long time. She said, I wanted to bury it and mourn its loss, but I couldn't get to it. It was one of those moments in my life that I replay in my head over and over. Me sobbing and trying to fish something out of the toilet for this inexplicable reason. I swear death just follows me around. Now, Amber also got pregnant uh, two more times. Uh, one time with her ex-fiance, Matt Byer. And that pregnancy also resulted in a miscarriage. And then she later got pregnant by Andrew Glennon. And she gave birth to their son, James, in May 2018. Now... Okay, a couple of things that I need to say to that. Really quick, you can order her book, So You're Crazy Too, on Amazon. You guys check it out. I think I'm going to get it and I'm going to read it. Have like a book night for like the members. So, members, if you're down for that, please let me know. Now, a couple of things. Okay, so she got pregnant with Leah. She had Leah. Then she became addicted to pain medication. So, uh, in the height, well, I guess it wasn't the height of her addiction, but when she was really suffering, uh, with addiction, she got pregnant by a random heroin addict. The heroin addict died. Um, that pregnancy, she terminated. Then she got pregnant again after she got released from jail. I think she spent like 18 months in jail. She gets out of jail and she dates this guy. This is 2013. She dates this guy for a short period. Ends up pregnant by him. Loses that baby due to a miscarriage. So that's two babies. Aside from Leah, aside from Leah, that's two babies. And then she gets pregnant by Matt. That is um, third baby that resulted in a miscarriage as well. And then she gets pregnant by Andrew Glennon. Now, okay, I heartbroken. I'm heartbroken from this. Amber already suffers from mental health issues. And I have to say, I'm sure this affects her even more. Uh, you know, losing babies to miscarriages, having to make that decision to have an abortion. Um, but one thing that just stuck out so much or one thing that I just kept thinking about when reading this is those tapes with Andrew Glennon where she kept saying that he got her pregnant on purpose and she said I go 10 years without getting pregnant so how do I all of a sudden get pregnant by you uh she's saying that it's something that he did right she's like 10 years where I didn't get pregnant at the time Leah was like 10 she's like 10 years I haven't gotten pregnant and then all of a sudden I'm pregnant by you you know what did you do you did this on purpose but now we find out that, no, it wasn't 10 years since her last pregnancy. It was just a couple of years. And, you know, Matt did come out to say that. Matt Byer actually said that. That when he heard the audio of her saying, I hadn't gotten pregnant in 10 years, he said that hurt him because she had gotten pregnant by him and had a miscarriage. And now we know not only did she get pregnant by him a year or two prior, but she also got pregnant uh, by a boyfriend that resulted in a miscarriage. And then a couple of years before that, uh, two and a half, three years before that, she got pregnant and that resulted, you know, she had an abortion because it was by a heroin addict and she knew she could not take care of her baby. She was uh, suffering with addiction as well. But that means there were three times that she also got knocked up between Leah and James, but yet those audios, I just, rem I could not help but to remember her saying, you know, for 10 years, I didn't get pregnant. So it must be you. You did this on purpose because for 10 years, I was unable to get pregnant, which makes me believe that she's not on any sort of birth control. And, you know, watching Teen Mom, I don't recall her ever really talking about birth control. Uh, you know, we've heard Macy talk about the fact that she has a thing in her arm. We've heard some of the other girls talk about, like, how they make sure they're not going to get knocked up unexpectedly. But I don't recall Amber ever talking about what her plan was at the time. Like, is she on anything or was she not on anything and just taking the chance? Um, but, yeah, I remember those audios where she says, 10 years, uh, you know, I didn't get pregnant you did this on purpose. You know, how did I go 10 years without getting pregnant? But all of a sudden, as soon as I meet you, I get pregnant. And he's like, well, I don't know. Um, so I don't think this was something that he did on purpose. Uh, but clearly, she's able to get pregnant a lot easier than she... I, and I, I can't even say she wanted us to believe because she never thought that that we would hear that she said that. But she was even like in her own mind, convincing her own self that for 10 years she hasn't got pregnant when... She knew that she had a miscarriage with Matt. She knew she had a miscarriage with this boyfriend that she didn't take that long. She knew she had an abortion with a heroin addict. 
maybe that was something that she was just burying because it was something that was hurtful to her. So she just acted like it didn't happen. I don't know. You guys leave me your thoughts in the comment section below. What do you guys think about that? You know, while I'm very sympathetic and it breaks my heart to hear this, I just also had to bring that up. You guys leave me your thoughts in the comment section below. What do you guys think about Amber's book and um, her dropping these bombshells that she's actually been pregnant five times? Leah, the heroin addict, the uh, boyfriend, um, Matt, and then Andrew. Five times she has been pregnant. She has two precious babies, thank God. Um, but yeah, leave me your thoughts in the comment section below. And members, if you guys would like for me to have a uh, book night where I order the book and we go over it, let me know in the comment section below. Leave me your thoughts. If you are not yet subscribed to this channel, what are you doing? Please hit that subscribe button down there. Thumbs up. Leave me your thoughts in the comment section below. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye, everyone. Thank you.